everyone and here the little French in Big Texas welcome to the channel so here's a garden update after a week in the country working on the big garden in the greenhouse I'm back in the city and I'm gonna update you on my experiments here on how to grow some herbs and your own veggies or greens in very limited space meaning something you could do even if you live in an apartment in a condo in town as long as you have a balcony so if you remember i planted some uh, herbs salads and other things in stackable planters from the dollar tree about three weeks ago so i'm going to show you how they grew so here are my planters and yes you see some greens you do even the last one i had on top the rosemary look at it it is starting to sprout so but what do we have here let me walk you around the second one doesn't look too good oh yeah it was the strawberry that one is gonna take a bit longer i planted it actually less than three weeks ago it's just been less than 10 days so that was the last addition the strawberry what do we have here so on that one here we have some basil pretty slow on the basil but we do have some here's the cilantro below the cilantro here we have some aragula which is looking pretty good then what do we have here after the aragula we have some spinach so this is spinach growing pretty well too Here's the spinach. So here we got something else sprouting. What did I put here? Where's my tag? Here's the tag. We had some chives. I need to water that one. It looks pretty dry. Here, sprouting too. Where's my, oh yeah, some thyme. Ooh, ooh, we're going pretty good. And the bottom ones are the garlic and they are growing very nicely as you can see so all doing really good here so far good experiment i'm waiting on the strawberries but as i said planted them 10 days later so let's give them some time i need to water them what do i have on the side that too something you can grow in very limited space these are tomatoes these were black tomatoes i started from seeds let's see how they grew and here is not looking too good these were yellow tomatoes and it looks like they did not make it so not 100 <laughs> percent when you start from seeds uh yeah so here's my orange tree blooming that i started from seeds as well that's three to four years ago i need to clean the bottom here with all these herbs i need to take them out but yeah that one is doing good with some fresh leaves uh, growing and here's the grapes that i just planted about two weeks ago so doing good as well here waiting for it to grow on the other side part of my experiments as well i tried some cabbage here and it's sprouting so so far so good some calendula that's sprouting as well so looking good here and that one i really don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> as you can see it's a pineapple uh, i tried i don't know let's give it some time and we'll see what happens on the <laughs> pineapple and here is the last of our citrus tree that we haven't planted so as you can see it is a grapefruit tree and it has a grapefruit and these grapefruits are really good they are ready i need to harvest that one it is delicious delicious and as you can see it is blooming new leaves doing really good so we pre pretty much need to either plant it in the greenhouse at the ranch but it's already full or my guess is that we're gonna repot it in a huge pot and keep it outside for the summer bring it inside when it gets cold and having close by because it's uh, always good to have this uh, additional uh, supplement vitamin c something you can as well grow 
you got a big pot on a balcony or limited yard. That one here definitely has to be planted. It's a apple tree that I bought at Costco. It was very good price. It was like $19, less than 20. And it is looking good. As you can see, you got some green leaves. It's just way too tall to be. <laughs> it has to go. That one will have to go with limited space. I would not recommend, but yeah, look, it's uh, blooming. I've had it for 10 days here. It got a bit cold, but not freezing. And uh, yeah, it definitely, it is spring. I hope you found this video interesting and it gave you some ideas on what you could plant with very limited space to be a bit more self-sufficient. Um, at least some limited uh, greens, some salads and potentially some uh, fruits and vegetables because that does not take that much space as long as you've got a decent balcony or a small yard in the city. So update a few days later, as you can see, it's grown even more doing really good just wanted to share another positive thing about these stackable planters is you can unstack them here we had some pretty good wind i wanted to make sure so i separated them didn't want them to fall and also it's gonna get pretty cold tonight uh probably below freezing again even so we're <laughs> almost mid-march so i am going to take all this inside the house so that's also one of the positives here it really gives you some flexibility on what you can do and i don't want my little tomatoes here to die so everything is going back inside tonight